I'm Paul Passimino. I'm the Associate Director at Amazon Watt. Today is actually the eighth annual anti-Chevron Day, global anti-Chevron Day. This is one protest of many that is happening at the Chevron Richmond Refinery. And we are here to stand in solidarity with communities in Richmond who are affected by Chevron's operations, similar to its operations in LA and Ecuador and around the world. Chevron is, a, is essentially a criminal enterprise that has been profiting off of the destruction of people and planet for over a hundred years. It's responsible for more greenhouse gas emissions than any investor-owned oil company in the history of the world. And moreover, it has intentionally polluted and poisoned communities for profit and admitted to doing so, yet has not been held to account. So we're here to demand accountability from its shareholders and its uh, leadership next week at their annual shareholder meeting. Stephen Donziger is a human rights lawyer who has been on house arrest now for almost two years. He's in his home in New York with his wife and his teenage son because he was part of a legal team that won a $9.5 billion judgment against Chevron in Ecuador for its deliberate pollution of the rainforest. And they won this verdict in 2011. Ever since, Chevron has used an army of lawyers, 60 law firms, 2,000 lawyers, to try to stop Donziger and the Ecuadorians from collecting the judgment that they won in Ecuador. And as a result, he's been targeted, he's lost his license, and he's now facing criminal charges from a court that has a Chevron prosecutor and essentially a Chevron judge overseeing the trial. Right now, we need people to take action because of this current situation with Steve Donzinger. He's facing criminal charges. There's a few weeks to go before he'll be sentenced. He'll be, he'll be confirmed guilty because we know the judge will find him guilty and sentence him. So we need people to go to amazonwatch.org slash take action and send a message to Garland telling him to intervene in the case and then send a message to their member of Congress asking them to do the same thing. Oh, yeah, I'm not